decades, Neil Diamond can still pack them in. That was the case tonight. The singer made a rare in-store appearance at the Virgin Megastore in West Hollywood. Our Kenny Sargent was there, and now he's back with the details. Kenny? Oh, Neil is definitely back. It's the first time in Diamond's career he's done a promotion like this. Now, an in-store appearance is a tactic usually reserved for lesser-known acts. While tonight's appearance was unusual for Diamond, now wait till you hear what the main man of mainstream music was there to promote. Ah, oh, yeah, Neil Diamond in Hollywood here at the Virgin Mega Record Store. Ladies, you want to go meet Neil Diamond? Yeah! Whole bunch all time. Let's go on. Come on, ladies. Let's go. All right. Thank you so much. Neil Diamond's gone a little bit country. You got to take your time now. And 400 fans got to sample his latest tonight. Hey, is anybody out there? And the country tunes didn't disappoint diehard fans. He's good at anything he does, anything. Yeah, he's a legend. He's a living legend, you know? Ooh. Diamond had help from some of Nashville's top songwriters for Tennessee Moon. He says his country crooning shouldn't oh, surprise yeah. anyone. I've always loved country music, and uh, this was my chance to try it, and uh, I'm glad I did. New music and a new approach. This is the first in-store appearance for Diamond in 30 years. Gospel, 50s, soundtracks, concept albums, country. Where's Neil going next? Got me. Wherever the audience wants me, basically. Oh, yeah. Diamond's country album has some really heartfelt tunes. In fact, Many of the songs deal with the recent breakup of his 25-year marriage. Now, Tennessee Moon is at number three on the country charts and at number 14 on the pop charts. And that's how a man who sold over 110 million records continues to appeal to the legions of fans, young and old. And he's been away because of the divorce? sort of. Not necessarily. Conclusion? He just hasn't felt the desire mm -hmm. to write, uh -huh. to produce. So he's back. Did mm -hmm. any of his fans tonight ask for any of those old standards? Oh, yeah. He played... Uh, Kentucky Woman, uh, Kentucky Jer Woman. Cherry Cherry. It, it, it was just great. It was all just, right. what I do want to add, he will be in town middle part of August here in California, so all you uh, Neil Diamond fans can definitely check him out. Forward right. to that. Thanks. Thanks, Kenny. Tonight at the Virgin Megastore in Los Angeles, Diamond sang and autographed copies of his new CD, Tennessee Moon. The new album was recorded in Nashville and features 18 original songs co-written by Diamond and some of Nashville's top songwriting talents. 400 fans packed the megastore for tonight's concert. Check it out. Look around. Ain't no name but you would love allows you and me. Be just fine. Be just fine. His new album called Tennessee Moon. It's Diamond's first album in five years, and it's his first venture into country music. I hear the river calling out her name, trying to forgive her, but nothing's ever gone. Sounds nothing like Song Sung Blue, does it? After a short performance, Diamond signed autographs and albums, even a musician's guitar. Neil Diamond saying, ah, shucks, I don't know about that. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Now, entertainer Neil Diamond has moved over to country, country music that is. His first new collection of songs in more than five years is burning up the music charts. And here's our aficionado of music, all kinds of music, all kinds of music. Jim Giggins. Yes. We know Neil Diamond last night did something he's never done before in his 30-year career, and he did it right here in Hollywood. Neil Diamond gave 400 cheering fans a free mini-concert inside a record store, mostly promoting songs from his new album, Tennessee Moon. Can anybody hear me? And this is something I haven't done in... 30 years since I started, it's a lot of fun. The kids are right up there, two feet away from you, and they're smiling, and it brings back the old days for me. The Brooklyn-born entertainer who once chronicled the angst of being caught between two coasts actually wrote the songs in Tennessee Moon in the heartland, in Nashville. He includes a little of the old. Kentucky woman, she shines with a wrong kind of light. And a lot that's new. Now he's planning to take it all on the road. I'm going to start a world tour at um, the end of this month, and we'll go for a year or two. Uh, we'll see how long people can stand me.
Neil Diamond will be performing in Anaheim at the Pond in August. Tickets go on sale next week. Right now, his album, Tennessee Moon, is number three on the country charts and number 14 on the pop charts. Man, he's big. Okay. Yeah, he's been, been doing a long time. Yeah, doing years. it well.